Ha! Okay, special request. Um, the Joker by Steve Miller Band. Now, I was uh, checking out the tune, and it's, it was, I don't know if I got a, you know, if it was an old tape, but it, uh, it's tuned down a half step. So if you try, I'm going to teach it to you in standard tuning, but if you want to, you know, match up to the recording, play like that in the recording, <laughs> um, then you're going to have to tune instead of E, A, and D, etc. It's E flat, A flat, D flat. Other than that, it, this is this is how the thing goes. Um, uh, super beginner way would just be uh, uh, G G C D C. For the verses and the chorus, the only thing is that the chorus. Um, it just holds on the D for a while when you know, you do this little thing and then solo. And so even if you play it like really, you know, at least the way I'm teaching it, when he goes to the chorus, it's still, you know, it just opens up the strumming. Um, so what was I doing? Just like that. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Get the idea? Let's learn the tasty, the tasty way to play it. Um, I think we're gonna have to zoom in a little bit for me to show this to you. And you know, there's more than one guitar on this, so I'm kind of giving you like the condensed one guitar version of it. So you get what I'm saying? Uh, when I have a song that has a G and a C in it, look. If I play G this way, look at my hand position. Then to go to C, it has to completely be opposite. So what I like to do when it's G and C a lot, I like to put my ring finger on that first note, middle finger, and then my pinky all the way across, which is hard for people. But if you get used to it, in the long run, I, I, for me, it's way easier now. See what I'm saying? My hand's just real comfortable. So anyway, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play G this way. Now you can translate this with this G if you need to, but I like to do it this way. So we're gonna go two times on this first note. And any of these notes work if you strum more than one note of the guitar. You know, you can kind of strum it too, but. Then the open A string, the second string down, middle finger on the second fret and then two hits on the third fret with my ring finger into a C chord so watch actually and you can do that let's see just like that then from there I'm gonna hit the D string which is the third string down, then the open G string, like this. Just while I'm still holding the C chord. To a D chord. Check it out, here's what we have so far. Then this part, we're going to go open A string again into the C chord. One, two, three, four. So 
five times on that C chord. One, one, two, three, four, five. Middle finger goes to the second fret on the A string. Then just let that open A string open into the beginning again. See, there's another guitar that's going like this. Instead of, you know, instead of that, that part. So there's two things going on, but I, I think this would be the best way if you were trying to play it by yourself. Um, so I can play more accurate with my pick in the normal position. Then you could go to a regular G if you want for the... Unnecessary jazz ending. Yes, all you space cowboys out there, hope you dug the lesson. <laughs>